Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, aka Barnacles, and today we're reviewing the Otterbox Defender case. Now, this case is supposed to be indestructible, and that's what my wife asked for. Because recently, I got her a Kindle Fire HDX, and she's like, I would like an indestructible case because your son is going to break it. And I was like, he's not going to break it, it'll be fine. She's like, well, then you'll probably break it. And I was like, what are you talking about? I am so responsible with my electronics. Why the hell would she think that? Well guys, I'm actually shocked I didn't break my Nexus 7. I meant to just gently drop it on the floor and I ended up throwing it to the floor like it was a fast pitch at a baseball game. And uh, somehow it managed to survive. Now granted, that was my old Nexus 7, not my new one guys, because I didn't want to risk it. But uh, I love doing my funny intros. I hope you guys enjoy them. If you do, leave a comment down below. I'll keep doing them for sure. Uh, this right here is a Kindle Fire HDX. And I did a review on this. If you haven't seen my video, go and check it out. And uh, I got it for my wife because she loves Kindles. She just she just loves them. She, I've got her both e-paper Kindles, the paper white and the other one. And uh, she enjoys doing all of her reading, well, most of her reading. Cookbooks, she still has like a million real ones, and they take up like half of the space in the house. And hopefully she doesn't watch this video or she's going to kick my ass for saying that. Um, and she could kick my ass, gentlemen, because she's awesome like that. Anyways, this thing right here is badass. The screen on it's amazing. It's a fast device. It's very, very easy to use. Uh, and that's why my wife likes it. And right now she's, t she's reading something on how to begin eating organically. So hopefully she doesn't get mad at me for spying on what she's doing. Well, she's never going to watch this video. We know she's not, right? All right, anyways, back on track. We don't care about any of that. The Otterbox right here. She wanted an indestructible case because she lets my son play games on here. And this also has a cool mode you can put it in where kids can play with it and they can't, like, accidentally buy a bunch of shit and, like, you know, pay all your bills twice um, like they can on many other devices. Uh, so she wanted a case that was indestructible because my son, he's three and a half years old, and quite frankly, when he's done with something, this is what he usually does. He's like, well, this was pretty cool. Oh. And then it's on to the next thing. So hopefully this will solve that problem because the OtterBox, as I understand it, is the most rugged protective case that you can get for just about anything. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. It's frustration proof packaging or whatever. So you just rip that off, opened up, boom. Now the first thing I noticed is it's blue. So my wife, I believe, wanted a blue case and I forgot about that. I thought it was black. Oh well, live and learn. And you take it out, and the first thing you notice is it's, it's a beefcake case. I'm going to be honest, the case probably weighs more than the damn Kindle HDX. Uh, and it looks like it's got the bag it came in, and it has a Welcome to Planet Otterbox. And it's instructions on how to get your device inside of said Otterbox, which we're going to do right now. All right, let's get rid of all this packaging. Throw that on the floor. The back of the man cave is absolutely destroyed right now, and it is when I shoot most of my videos, but you guys don't know that. You go and watch my gaming room tour video, and you're like, man, how does that guy keep everything so clean? It's simple. I only clean it up when I shoot videos of it. See, that's the trick, guys, if you're wondering. You know how you keep the dust down? You only dust stuff that's in front of the lens. Everything else, you just let a big old mound pile up on it. All right, back to the otter box here. This thing is beefcake. If we look at it up close here, it looks like... It's got little rubber buttons that pass through for pushing the buttons on the physical device. It says OtterBox on the back. It looks like it's got openings for the speakers on the top and bottom, and they even flare out. So it looks like they might actually amplify the sound a little bit because they're flared. Uh, it looks like it's got a place for the microphone. Does it got a place for the charger? Yep, it's got a little flip open thing on the side there for the charging cable that's also rubberized. And uh, let's see, how do you open this thing? It's just like, oh, that's it, huh? That was pretty easy. And then inside, so I don't know what the hell is this. So this is a case, and is this like a stand? I don't even know what I have here, guys. But it looks like this is all, well, it's not sealed because the speaker's down the bottom. So I, I kind of thought that this thing would be waterproof. It's not. But it does actually have a screen on it, the uh, protector to protect the screen. And it looks like it's got some foam inside of it to hold the device steady and protect it. So let's figure out how we break into this damn thing and figure out what the hell this thing is. Okay. Okay, so apparently that's called a shield stand. So we removed that. 
That's step one. Step two is peel away the outer silicone casing. It says to peel away the outer silicone casing. I don't get it. Oh, there we go. Man, it is on there. That took some effort. All right, so peel that off. All right, so now we just got this little plastic doodad thingamajigger here. All right, it says separate the hard plastic case by locating the indicated arrows, unhinging each snap on all four sides of the case. Okay, so there's one snap. There's two snap. There's three snap and four snap. And I forgot to mute my audio. All right. Ah! They snap back. Okay, there we go. So that's free. Okay. I think we're getting somewhere here, guys. Okay, there's another one. There's another one. Ah! There we have two halves. All right, let's get some of the stuff out of the way. All right, I'm going to clean the inside of the shield on my shirt since I touched it with my fingers and I don't want any fingerprints on the inside. All right, good enough. Good enough. All right, so now we got our two halves here. Now it says place the device into the bottom half of the hard case. So again, clean the screen by rubbing it on my belly. Actually, I should probably take a microfiber cloth to it is what I should do. All right. Get it as clean as I can so we don't have little specks of crap inside of there. All right. So now, position that like that. Face down. Okay. It says place the lid on top of the device and snap the two halves together. All right. All right. This is, this is pretty easy. There we go. Okay, you can see on the back now you got the, the buttons exposed. You got the two speakers exposed. You got the power button exposed. We can see it through the screen there. Let's see. Man, I still managed to have some craps in there. Oh well, let's see. Does, does it work? Yep. The screen still works. All right, sweet. All right, so the next step now is wrap the silicone shell around the hard plastic shell. like so just put it on there like that and work it around goes on a hell of a lot easier than it came off I'll tell you that that's probably a good thing though okay work it around the corners put the protectors back in and there you have it guys that was actually fairly easy to do you can see the speakers are on the back here we've got the volume up and volume down they feel good you got the power button on and off you can see the camera up here and the light sensor is still exposed it's got a port that flips open for headphones on the side it's got another port flips open for USB all right so it came with this other piece here that looks like it's some kind of a stand so this just snaps onto it let's see like this Okay, so it can snap on like that and provide extra protection. You can see there's ports for the speaker and it actually redirects the sound out the top. That's pretty cool. And this actually comes off fairly easy. And it looks like you can also use it to protect the front. So when you're traveling, now the screen is completely protected and you don't have to worry about breaking the thing. That's, that's pretty cool. Well, that popped off right there, but other than that, see if it protected it come on pop off okay does it still turn on yep there it is still works and it says it also doubles as a stand so you flip that little guy up like that stick that in there like that and then that tilts it up a little bit and then if you want to tilt it up a lot of bit like this like that so it can tilt up in this configuration this configuration that's pretty cool. Or you can flip it around like this, tilt it to where it's almost laying flat, or like this and almost laying flat. So it's got multiple positions it lays in, and then all you do is just lay the stand flat, drop the sucker in there, and you're ready for transport. Now I'm not gonna lie, this thing adds a lot of bulk to the device. So a device that did fit in your pocket originally, 
no longer fits in your pocket. But if you're a woman and you got a big purse, this will be perfect. And my wife does. She has a huge purse. So this will go in there and it'll protect it from the kiddo. And now I don't have to worry about him breaking the screen on it. Or me breaking it, apparently, because I couldn't even shoot a simple video without almost breaking my Nexus. So maybe she has a point. <laughs> Well guys, that was a pretty straightforward video. The OtterBox Defender, it's easy to install. The only snag I ran into was peeling away the silicone was a little tricky at first, but now that I understand how it feels pulling away, it'll be easy to do in the future. So it's easy to install. It's a very custom fit. Nothing moves inside, which is awesome. I definitely feel like the device is indestructible now because the screen is so recessed in. It's got all this rubber and plastic on it. And it's even got this hardcore case slash cover that just snaps on the front like that. And it's like a clamshell. And then in theory, I should be able to just go, wee! That landed right on the edge. That was right on the edge. Take it here, just drop it. I feel like there's, I mean, you could damn near drive over it with a car. Now they don't want you to drive over it with a car, so don't do that. But now my wife can have some confidence and peace of mind when my son's playing with it. And she doesn't have to worry about him going, oh! my show's over oh. and it'll just keep on ticking all right guys well i hope this video gave you a nerdgasm again this is an otter box defender case for the kendall fire hdx as i understand it they make otter boxes for literally everything you could probably find an otter box for like your car keys probably not but if they made it it'd probably be worth buying because you know those key fobs when you drop and stuff and accidentally step on them well guys at the end of the day it's a case it's a badass case it's bulky if you don't like bulky cases don't get it if you like indestructible shit and you love just throwing stuff around your room when you're done with it otter box is probably the way to go so guys till next time I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys. Pretty quick. Dolby Sound, and it has a front-facing camera. Doesn't have a rear-facing camera. I think that kind of sucks. That's one thing I like about the Nexus over this, but for her having the actual interface, the Amazon interface, or I should say the Kindle interface, she's going to enjoy that more than, than the highly configurable Android experience that I'd like. You know, different strokes for different folks, right? So another really cool feature I thought was uh, neat was the concierge thing. Apparently there's a button you can push on here and you can just talk to a real person and ask them for assistance with stuff, which is cool because 